Welcome to another video by Surf and Circuits. In front of me, I have the Nixie Bar Graph hat, and we're going to talk about the features and setups of this hat. This hat is really um, designed to drive very nicely two different Nixie tube displays. It has a connector here that can be used to power both the Nixie tube displays and the Raspberry Pi. It also has a very unique dimmer function that helps to improve the performance of your Nixie bar graph hats. And the displays that these will use are to power both, in fact I got a setup right here, um, to power either an IN13 type of Nixie tube this bar graph or an IM9 Nixie tube bar graph. And you can see it's kind of, it's really nice, it, you can, it fits, it's called a hat because it fits very nicely on top of a Raspberry Pi, like this would be another Raspberry Pi Zero, in fact I have a Raspberry Pi Zero there, but any of the, of the Raspberry Pis that have the same pinout as the Raspberry Pi Zero. And it also has, the, the pinouts at one end are designed to, to mate very nicely, seamlessly, one-to-one -one with our 5-volt to 170-volt Nixie tube power display, which is on another blog entry at Surf and Circuits. And this is being powered from a 5-volt supply right from your wall, so you can use any 5-volt supply. In fact, we recommend, though, as we've talked about before, about up to a 2-amp uh, display for this solution here. Um, the other thing I want to show you on the pinout is that if I if I went ahead and uh, and I look at the pinout here on that display, this is 170 volts. In fact, I'm only connected to one of those. This one is ground. This pin is ground. This is N enable, and then this N enable, which is that control pin that controls that 170 volt power supply from the Raspberry Pi, and this is the 5 volt feed through that is coming from the wall feeding through the power supply and this ultimately is powering the 5 volt circuitry on the hat along with the circuitry down on the Raspberry Pi Zero. So that's the control or, or, or connector pinout. The the other pinouts, um, the one for the the, 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 the Nixie bar graphs, they have an A on the silk screen there's an A for anode, C for cathode which is the center pin Okay, and then there's this auxiliary cathode, which is the right side, and this is only needed on the IN13, which is this longer display. The IN9 doesn't have that connector, um, and so you just put the anode and then you do the cathode. Now you remember the cathode is the center tube, the center tube, and the anode is the outer is the outer shield. Okay, and that that's a, an easy way of distinction, and you can actually see. Um, where those wires come in, one gets attached to the outer shield, that's the anode, and the cathode is the center tube right in the middle, which is right in the center. Okay. Now on my display, I'm, on my screen, I have um, our, our software that we use in API, um, uh, the API and, and kind of library, Python library, that we've written to drive these IN9 and IN13 displays um, in Python, and I have the software running right now. In fact, let me go ahead and restart this. I'm going to get out of the, 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 the solution here. But um, I have it also on the GitHub. This is available on GitHub, and so you can download it um, as yourself. Now, let me go ahead and start this up. Now, I'm going to start it up, and you have to start it up um, and put in either IN9 and IN13. Now, although I have both of them hooked up to my display, I'm going to use the IN9. 13 because it's a lower current display. I don't want to overdrive its current than the IN9. The IN9 needs more current than the, the IN13. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and turn that on. In fact, and you can see it, it's shown right here. Um, in fact, then you can just go ahead and put in like 75%. This shows 75% on the IN13. It's about a little less than that because the IN9 doesn't needs a lot more current to drive on that solution. Talking about current, um, this Nixie power power supply is a 28 milliamp, 20 milliamp power supply. It's designed. It can use. It can really drive one of the IN9s because these can go up to about 12 milliamps. You can't do two of them, but it could easily drive two of the IN13. So if you need this setup to drive two displays, I would use the IN13 to do that. Now in the software, it's it's really designed. It has this this neat test feature as we talked about, um, and you can do things like ramping and and then you could you could stop the ramp. Um, you can um, go ahead and put in different displays, 
And it, of course, there's library features that this can be controlled through an API um, interface that in, in your Python module that can be controlled um, from your own program. Uh, but let me show you one of the other features associated with it, and that is the, 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 the dimmer to setting. Now, um, if I look right here, and you can look right here. Now, what happens if, if I turn this display, this, the power supply off, and I turn it back on? Look what happens to the IN13. It, and actually, that, that bar graph broke in half, okay? And that is because we are driving it too quickly. It actually took too fast. Um, and this dimmer feature that I've set up here, I'm going to put the dimmer feature. Now, if I put the dimmer feature, and this is a way, it's, a, it's a unique to these Nixie bar graph hat, and I'll show you on the schematic in a second. But if I put this at 80% dimming, which doesn't change the brightness, but now go ahead and turn the supply on and off, and no longer do we see that effect. So that is, um, you, that is a way of eliminating that ability or that kind of that kind of one of the limitations of these of these Nixie displays of being able to drive them too fast. Um, or you could drive it a little slower and they that won't happen either. But let me show you what happens, how that is in the schematic itself. Um, and this is on GitHub too, but each of those connectors, and I'm looking at one of the connectors, there's two FETs that are used to control the the IN9 and IN13. The first one here is um, is is hooked up to an op amp display, and this is really doing a voltage to current converter type of operation, where it takes voltages from the Raspberry Pi in the in form of a PWM, because the Raspberry Pi doesn't have an analog voltage. But if you had an analog voltage, maybe some other circuitry you could do that. Converts that PWM in into an analog with a uh, a low pass filter here, and then converts it into a current. And that's the main PWM output. But then there's this other FET right here that is being controlled. In this case, I've labeled it as 50 hertz. It's being controlled at a FET of 50 or 60 hertz type of rate that is being used to implement that kind of dimmer function and allow you to get rid of this, this, this issue of breaking of the display if you're driving it too quickly. Now let me also show you the connector um, pin out to the Raspberry Pi hat because you know, to the Raspberry Pi because each of the primary each of the connectors to the from the Raspberry Pi to the hat have all have backups. There is a default that's configured and you can see some of these, but the each have backups. Let's look at the N enable pin. The N enable pin comes in here and it's normally connected to pin 10 on the Raspberry Pi, but it can also be controlled to pin 18. It's not being connected right now, but you could do that too. And also the PWMs, here's a PWM1, it would be controlled pin 33, but has a backup to pin 35. This allows you, if you have, if you're using those pins for something else in your project and you wanted to add this on, you now have a backup to do that. And, and the, the Raspberry, this hat comes um, and the software is set up to, to work with the default configurations, but this can be adjusted with some, just by changing those resistor from, you know, in, in this case for the NAND enable, just take this 1K and take it off of here and put it onto um, uh, the R23 here. Hope you enjoyed this quick short video that talks about the features of this bar graph hat and um, the basic setups of using it to connect to an IN13 or an IN9 Nixie tube display, or maybe two IN13 Nixie tube displays if you have that in your setup. Enjoy.